Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is June 1st and today is actually my 24th birthday, which is really crazy. It's gonna be like a normal day kind of for me, not doing anything too exciting. I do have work, so I'm just gonna do a normal day in my life um, with the occasional little birthday surprises in there. Um, but I'm just starting my morning sitting on the porch and doing some work, catching up, because I did take Friday off because uh, we went to Charleston. So just catching up on some stuff and then I might head out for a little walk with Frank. Um, but we will just see where our day takes us and I wanted to be vlogging today to just be able to look back on my birthday and also I feel like there's gonna be some fun things. I did some birthday shopping for myself so I'm gonna show you um, what I got myself for my birthday as well. We are on our way to Chick-fil-A for lunch. Of course Chick-fil-A. I can eat Chick-fil-A every freaking day of my life. And after today, Matt and I told ourselves that we are not gonna eat out, no more fast food, no more dining out until after Hawaii, um, which is like four weeks away. So we're gonna be really good on our diets until then. So this is like my last hurrah fun day. So I'm eating Chick-fil-A for lunch and then Matt and I are gonna go to dinner tonight and then done and we're healthy. <laughs> but um, yeah, so going to Chick-fil-A now and treating myself. Okay, so I just got back from Chick-fil-A and now just getting back to work, obviously. This is actually my first birthday that I've had to work because last year, Matt and I were moving into our townhouse on my birthday. So <clears throat> last year I wasn't working, I took off. And the year before was my first year working and we actually started June 15th. So I was able to be home for my birthday that year and last year I was off. And this year is just weird. I don't, I'm not a fan of working on my birthday and it's kind of just weird like being by myself all day on my birthday too. But I did, I have a bunch of packages here. I did do some birthday shopping and they came in yesterday and I wanted to open them. Um, I wanted to open them today on my birthday to have it like be a little special and be opening something that I got myself. Um, so I'll open them a little later in the vlog. Obviously I just ate and there's a lot of bathing suits in there. So not sure how I feel about trying them on right now, but maybe I'll, I'll try them on to show you guys. But there's also a few other fun things in there that I'm gonna show you as well. So I'm just gonna get back to work and get some things done for a little bit. And then I will check back in and probably be showing you all of the clothes I got from Nasty Gal and also Shein. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, since it's also the first of the month, I'm going to add the next month into like my little planner. Uh, this planner is not authentic. <laughs> I'm just letting you guys know I got it off like, I forget what it was called. DHgate, I think it was like 30 bucks for the planner. And my inserts are from cloth and paper. My friend Amanda actually introduced me to like planning. She has like a really awesome planning Instagram and YouTube channel. It's called Amanda Lee Plans. Also, if you want to check that out, I can link it below. But she got me into it because she posts like the most amazing aesthetic pictures of her planner. And I wanted to try it out. And I do use the planner quite a bit, but I'm not that great with it to be honest. But it's fun to like use and plan out my big events but like i don't go in day to day and add stuff um i wish i was more like that but i am just not so i'm adding the month of june in here and i'm gonna write in any like important dates that i have i feel like i don't have that much in june i think i'm just going home so i'm just gonna go through and write all my little things in my planner i also like to write like grocery lists in here and i have all of my passwords that I have for like different websites written in here that I like to um, just track. And then also something that's really fun that I like to do. I have like a, a section in here that is like all YouTube related. So I have, I'm like tracking my subscribers and watch hours so I can get monetized. Um, so like every Sunday I go in here and I write my subscriber count and watch hour count. And it's just kind of a cool way to see like 
the growth and the difference week to week and all that and it'll be nice to look back on one day when like I am monetized and I can see how long it took me but I also just like to write down like YouTube ideas and a bunch of random stuff so I like having this just to like organize my thoughts and everything but I don't use it day to day like I kind of wish I did but not a big deal. So I made a little grocery list for tonight and also just put a few things in the planner. Nothing too crazy because I really don't have that much going on, especially this month. That is updated for now and I will, I come in here every Sunday and write my YouTube stuff down and also just whatever I have food that we need to buy and all that kind of fun stuff. So that is just a little update on my planner. So I am going to try on all of the items that I got from Nasty Gal and Shein. So I have not opened these yet since it is my birthday. I wanted to wait to open them on my birthday. So the first thing I got from Nasty Gal was a pair of shoes. I got them in a size seven and they look like this. So they're a little like uh, flip flop style heel. They have like a very chunky heel and they're not very um, tall, so they'll be easy to walk in. They're super cute. So they look like this. And I thought they'd be really cute for summer just to like throw on instead of like a pair of flats because I do like the way like heels look better, but I never want to wear them because I always like feel like they're so uncomfortable. They're super cute and feel like they're going to be really comfortable like walking around pretty long distances. So I am happy about that. So I think that was the only like accessory from nasty gal the rest are all bathing suits so i'll try them on here is the first bathing suit it's super cute i'm actually not sure if i tied this right at all it was kind of difficult to get on and also it's kind of uh, a little scary for bigger chested girls i feel like i might pop out of it any second it is a little on the cheeky side um morning but it's super cute it's supposed to have this little like detail that it's supposed to kind of like sit lower so you could see like a little pop of skin right here but not so sure if that actually like lays like that normally like it kind of just kind of goes up and is in like one little piece definitely cute for pictures i don't know how like functional it is if you're like really out there swimming and stuff but it looks cute i love um high legged bikinis so i enjoy this bathing suit and i'll definitely be wearing it so here is the second bikini these bikinis are definitely not made for bigger chested girls I'm just putting that out there it's like really tiny like coverage area but I still think it's really cute and not not too um cheeky but I really like how high-waisted they are it's just very um small in this area but it is super cute um but let's just talk about this last bathing suit really fast because I didn't keep it on very long to show you guys so the top is just very tiny, like the triangle itself is like that small and I am not a tiny chested person. If I was, this bathing suit would be perfect, but also it seems to like fold over and show the white a lot, which really bothers me. The same thing actually happens on the bottoms. I still have them on. They're cute. It's just like, it shows a lot of skin and you would definitely need like a Brazilian to wear this. Like it's not just an easy bathing suit to throw on. It's very tiny and it's also very cheeky, like almost, it is pretty much a thong. Um, and they like, it ruffles, so like, as you can see, like, it's like really ruffled here. So that just like kind of pushes it together more. And if you try to pull it out, it just doesn't really work. So I might be most likely returning this bathing suit, even though it's super cute. I love the color, this like bright orange. It's just like very, not functional. The last thing that I got from Nasty Gal is this two piece beach like cover up set. And it is super cute, like so lightweight and so perfect. You can obviously like split these pieces up too and wear them separately. I know this came in white and black also. I was like very torn on what color to get, um, but I think it looks super cute as like a little cover up for the beach and stuff. Um, and they're super soft and comfortable too. Like I'm probably gonna live in this even like into the fall, I could wear this top with like jeans or shorts. All right, now we are moving on to Shein. Jump right into this. So the 
first thing that I just pulled out is actually a bandana. I really love like the scarf bandana look. So literally looking like a hippie, but like like this and even with this orange bathing suit with this um, bandana and has the orange in it and everything. It looks super cute and like this would be such a cute Instagram picture even if this bathing suit really doesn't make it to the beach much. Um, this could be cute to tie in like the orange and like the bandana. I'm keeping this button because <laughs> it's really revealing. I'm nervous about, I got a lot of bathing suits from Shein as well. So I'm kind of nervous that that is gonna be my issue with that as well. But the first thing I pulled out is this cute little bag. I mean, it's really wrinkled right now. I'll have to like um, kind of fill it. It was a few dollars and to have a blue bag, which isn't like a very neutral color to like match with everything. I thought blue would be really cute just to like throw with some things. You have to like unscrunch it a little. So I think it was only a few bucks, which is really nice. It's not the best quality. So if you're looking for a quality bag, definitely don't get that Shein, but it's really cute and yeah, I enjoy. I also got this little bag. I think they were literally like under five bucks each, like very, very cheap. And here is this one, a little croc bag, super cute, just for like under the arm. Again, not the best quality in the world, but like I'm not really expecting a great quality bag for like under five bucks. Just throw it over your shoulder. I think it's really cute. And again, it's gonna have to like form properly because it's not full squished right now. So I got two tank tops that I'll show you on really quick before I move on to bathing suits. So here's the first top and it's one of those tops that is just pretty much a string and you wrap it however you would like to. So you can obviously wrap this like a million ways, but I absolutely love this color. Here's the back the way I wrapped it, um, but obviously you can wrap it like any way you want. And I did get a size large. I probably could have sized down to a medium. I just get super nervous when I buy from like Shein because I'm not really sure what to expect. I feel like they run really small. So I prefer like to get it a little bit bigger and just hope it works. But this is the first top and it was like 10 bucks or like eight bucks. So again, very cheap. Everything from Shein is very, very affordable. But you have to kind of expect the quality isn't going to be as great as if you bought something a little bit more expensive obviously better quality but the shirt is pretty cute the material is like a fun little texture and it's just really cute so i'll definitely be wearing this in the summer with like white shorts or even like with these if i can figure out underwear that would work with these and not just a bathing suit i think that's super cute too here is the last top it has this cute little cutout I again got a size large, not really knowing um, the sizing situation, and I definitely could have sized down. It is a little bit um, like loose down here, but it's not a big deal. I'd rather have it too loose than too tight. So I think it's really cute. I'll definitely get some wear out of it, and it's like really cute with this little bag. This bag again is like very cheaply made, but it looks cute from from far. So. <laughs> I also um, do really like the material it's made out of. It's kind of almost like a stretchy, it's not like full on cotton. It's kind of a weird material to be honest, but it's really nice feeling like stretchy and different, very different from like a normal cotton tank top and everything. And I really have been loving these colors for summer, like blue and orange. Obviously you could tell, I really like to like, I wanna try to color block. So like blue and orange together would be super cute. Moving on to swimwear. Here is the first bathing suit from Shein and it's actually a three piece set because it came with this little sarong. Very confusing. If you would ever believe that these two pieces, the two cups and the arm straps are two separate pieces. Cause I never thought that would ever happen in a million years. So they're literally two pieces and you like string it and then tie the strings together. So hopefully I did that right. It's a little confusing, but super cute. Again, these are very um, skimpy. So I love that it has a little sarong to kind of cover yourself up more. And I've been loving these like really crazy bold prints for bathing suits and for summer in general. I really like this first bathing suit for like, I think they're all under like $12. 
very very affordable also for this bathing suit i wanted to note they came with these little circular pads in them that are like the worst quality things in the world and looked very funny it was also like out here and it looked bizarre so rip these out which i think you kind of have to do with these bathing suits because they look super funny when they're in there and like don't sit properly so yeah just wanted to note that here is the next shein bathing suit another very loud bold print and this one has like really really cute like 70s flowers i think it's like 70s ish time frame <laughs> but again very high waisted and these ones actually don't have ties which i kind of prefer since they're not really hugging in because the ties seem to like really dig into your skin and i like my bathing suits really high legged just to like elongate my leg make me look a little bit taller but this bathing suit is actually surprisingly good quality for like shein a lot of my older bathing suits from Shein were like really not great material and everything and this is super nice and I actually have the pad in here still and this one doesn't look that bad with it so and it has the underwire and all of that fun stuff. Here is another bathing suit. This one is again super super cute. I love that they have sarongs that match. Another like fun crazy 70s print. The flowers and everything. This one also is a tie on the side which is good and bad like you can adjust very easily to make it fit you better but also kind of digs in um so that's one thing and also another reason i like this wrong because it kind of covers the sides and all of that but i really love the print and this top is very big chested friendly like very supportive and really nice like i'm shocked by the quality of these bathing suits i definitely want to make another order actually and get more because I'm really in love with all of these bathing suits and surprisingly the nasty gals the nasty gal bathing suits didn't work out as well for me as these ones and these ones were a decent amount cheaper so I have one more bathing suit but also wanted to note these pads I took out as well but different than these pads these pads are a lot better but still a little weird um it's kind of weird to me that they had two different types of pads in their bathing suits but oh well um, but yeah, super, super adorable and love the matching sarong. Here is the last bathing suit. I put these pants back on to cover the bottoms because they were just like not working for me. They were really, really tiny and like very low and you could see like they're just low. And um, the ties, like I usually tie them above my hips to make them more long legged and they just weren't tying and like staying up. They kept falling and like were super low just not my favorite bathing suit bottoms and this one in general definitely feels like lower quality I've noticed but the top is still really cute maybe I could find a pair of bottoms that would match so I can like mix match them I'm not going to go through the process of, of returning these because they were so cheap and returning is such a big hassle I'd rather just keep and try to mix match or wear in whatever way I can I do like the top a lot also pretty supportive but definitely lower quality than the other ones for some weird reason i don't know why but yeah so i think that's all i got from shein and nasty gal this would look super cute with this as well i really like this bag better quality than this one this one is very like cheapy cheap like the handily thing this one definitely um seems better quality but still obviously cheap because it was like five bucks but very cute and yeah i love everything that i got i might try to return some of the nasty gal maybe the orange bathing suit might try to keep that and just make it work as well um also with the nasty gal bathing suit even if i wanted to try to hide the bottoms because that was a lot of the problem like them being a little bit revealing i could also match it with this sarong from Shein because the orange is like pretty matching perfectly so I could just throw that around and hide a lot of my area if I need to do that but I really love these sarongs I think I'm gonna try to buy more of these uh, from Amazon I saw a pack of two black and white for like 10 bucks that I want to try just to match with other bathing suits like this one I could wear a white one with and it'd be super cute so I love these for summer and I think everything was pretty good and I'm happy with my purchases so we are just going to continue the rest of our day so the other weekend sit we were in Charlotte and went to this place called Pet Wands to get Frankston Street sit 
And I'm gonna let him pick what treaty he wants. Ready, sit. What do you want? What one do you want? This one or this one? Want that one? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> He's regretting his decision. You want this one? What one do you want? What one do you want? You like this one or you want this one? <laughs> he can't make his mind up. Oh! No, you can't. Okay, he made his mind up. He ran away with that one. So this one will be saved for later. So Matt just got home from work and brought me some flowers. <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Look how cute this little bag is! I love it! Have you opened it? Did you see it? Yeah, I, I opened it. It's so cute. It's like perfect little size. It's like perfect for your phone and keys, whatnot. Perfect size, not too big. And obviously comes with like the strap, but you can hold it like this if you wanted to. It's really cute. Thank you, babe. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Here is the bag. Obviously, you can wear a crossbody or you can tuck the straps in. Okay. Let's see. You know what that is. What? Okay, and the last thing are a pair of Lulu aligns, which I'm very excited about. I don't have any aligns, I just have the Wonder Under. So, very excited about these. Thanks, baby. Oh, I thought it was the same kind you already had. No. So gonna throw this balloon in here. Just got to our workout and we have all our stuff so we could just change and go after to dinner. But yeah, about to work out. Four days of not working out and I'm a little nervous and would be really sore after this one, but we'll see how it goes. So we finished up our dinner and we are at Costco now. Have to restock all of our like foods because we've been gone for the weekend and we like don't have anything healthy or even remotely edible in our house. We have no food. So restocking, getting all our staples and all. noodles. Yeah, we have a lot of like pasta, but I don't want to <laughs> eat pasta when I'm trying to be healthy and get in shape before our vacation. So. I'll show you what we get when we get home. We're gonna do Costco and Walmart and just get a bunch of staples and healthy things to last us a while. So we'll see you guys later. So I quickly wanted to show you what we picked up at the grocery store. So at Walmart, we got some chicken, Parmesan cheese, croutons for salads, and two packs of this romaine lettuce. Also got some trash bags and like Ziploc bags. Um, and then we, I got these beads because I really want to make phone beads. Um, so I got these, a bunch of different letters and fun things. And then I got the um, little string to put it on. But then at Costco, we got watermelon, two packs of bread. I always freeze one of them and just use the other because um, when you freeze it, it stays better a lot longer, obviously. A rotisserie chicken. We get these literally every time we go. These are the best. Um, and then I got some grapes and tomatoes. So that is our whole little shopping trip. It really wasn't that much food, but this should last us a pretty long time. So that is about the end of my night. It's like almost nine o'clock now. So we're just gonna shower, settle in, maybe watch some TV and just call it a night. But thank you for coming along my day and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe, like the video and turn on that bell notification so you get notified every single time I upload.